Number seven then from paper two of the 2019 Higher Maths. And we go complete the square. There's a six mark question here. Three marks for completing the square. And then there must be another three marks for doing something with it, which we'll come to later. Well, it's always easy completing the square if it just says x squared. So take the negative six out of it. That will leave x squared, and that'll have to be a minus to go back to the plus, and six into that goes four. Now, you can incorporate the 25 if you like, but I'm just going to leave it outside so it doesn't interfere with the nice flow of the next part, which is how can you recreate a square bracket that produced this? Well, square the first, so it must be x. Square the last, I don't know yet, but twice the product is negative 4x, so that must be minus 2. Now that you know that's minus 2, squaring it means that we'd have had a plus 4. That wasn't there. So I'll need to correct for it. It wasn't just that that wasn't there. It was negative 6 times it. So there's a negative 24 that shouldn't be there. So you can correct for it by adding on 24, which means the final answer is this. Now, it didn't say anything about stating the values of P, Q and R, so I'm not going to do that. I'll just leave it like that because it's in the required form. Part B. Given that you've got this function here, this cubic, show that fx is strictly decreasing. That means it's always heading down. It doesn't even pause like a point of inflection on the way down. Well, that's to do with its derivative. That'll give the rate of change. Differentiate it. Multiply by the power, negative 6. Take 1 off the power. Sound familiar? Multiply by the power, 24. Take 1 off the power, and that's just minus 25. So it's the same expression as this. Well, that means you can replace it with that then. So you've got negative 6 times x minus 2 squared minus 1. Now, examining that, why is that always negative? Why is this always decreasing? Well, squares. Squares can never be negative, so this term has to be always negative or at best zero. I suppose we'd have to do this. f dashed of x is definitely less than zero. I'll just give the reason. Since negative 6 times a square has to be less than or equal to zero, doesn't matter what's inside it, and negative 6 then times anything squared minus a 1, since it's 1 less now, is definitely less than 0. So since that derivative is definitely less than 0, you can say f of x is strictly, I mean all the time, is strictly decreasing.